Hi uh, guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, solving two-stage equations. So this is a follow-up from the previous video in this series. Okay, so this is the question we have, 2x plus 7 equals 11, and we are trying to solve uh, for x. So as usual, we're going to try and make x the subject and kind of work through from there. Now, if you had seen rearranging formula, the video of rearranging formula in this series, you will have some sort of understanding of what I'm going to be working in this, um, how I'm going to be working these types of questions. Okay, so the very first thing I want to be doing is I want to have a look at x and I want to see what, what is actually happening to x. And so then I'll know which numbers to kind of work around with. So the very first thing that's happening to x is it's being multiplied by 2 and there's a 7 being added to it. So in terms of rearrangement, the first thing I want to be dealing with is 7 and the second thing is the 2. So looking at this question, um, as usual, I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways of doing this. So the first one is your direct rearranging. So when we have 2x plus 7 equals 11, I can write it as 2x is equal to 11. Because it's this is positive 7, when we shift it to the right hand side, it becomes minus 7. And then 2x is equal to 4. And then, of course, x is equal to 4 because x2 is being multiplied by x. On the other, other side, it's going to be divided by 2. And so, therefore, x is equal to 2. Okay, that's the first way of doing things. The second way that I'd like to show you is, the, I guess, the balancing method, you can call it. So, this is where I look at positive 7. The opposite of positive 7 is minus 7. So, I've got to take away 7 and take away 7 on the other side, which means... On the left hand side I've got 2x, 7 minus 7 is 0, 11 minus 7 is 4. And now I need to look at, I want to have x by itself, therefore I need to divide it by 2, which means on the other side I also have to divide by 2. Doing this, my two 2's cancel out each other and I'm left over with just x and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now guys, once you solve the equation, it's always a good idea to just go back and quickly check your answer to see whether you've done the right thing. So for example, if I was to go here and substitute 2 as x, or x as 2 really, I'm going to get 2 times 2 plus 7, which is 4 plus 7, and 4 plus 7 equals 11, which means I've done the right answer. Okay, next example. Two stage again. So this time we have x plus 2 divided by 3 equals 7. All right. So the, I'm going to show you guys two methods as usual. So in this case, um, you kind of need to understand that x plus 2, the whole thing is being divided by 3. And therefore, the first thing I need to get rid of is the 3 itself. So I'm going to have x plus 2 equals 7. And because 3 is being divided here, when it's been shifted to the right hand side, it will be multiplied by 3. And therefore, what I have now is x plus 2 equals 21. And from here, I can say x is equal to 21 minus 2. And so x is equal to 19. So that's one way of doing it. The other method, as I talked about, is when we're trying to balance things, is looking at this case and saying, all right, I need to multiply by 3 first on both sides because that means I will get rid of the 3 on the left-hand side and what I'm left over with is x plus 2 equals 21. And now to get rid of the positive 2, I need to subtract 2 from both sides and I have x on the left-hand side. 2 minus 2 is 0, 21 minus 2 is 19. Okay, next example. This time I have x divided by 2 minus 3 equals 10. So x divided by 2 minus 3 equals 10. So obviously the first thing I want to be getting rid of is the minus 3. And when I shift the minus 3 to the right hand side, negative 3, opposite of negative 3 is positive 3, and that's what I'm ending up with. So x over 2 equals 13 and of course now I want to get rid of the 2 and because 2 is being divided on this side when it's shifted to the right hand side 
it would be multiplied by 2, and therefore x is equal to 26. Okay, that's one way. The other method, we've got x over 2 minus 3 equals 10. So, as usual, getting rid of the 3 first, which means opposite of minus 3 is positive 3. Same thing on the other side, positive 3. And what you'll notice is I'm going to have x divided by 2, 3 minus 3, well, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, 10 plus 3 is 13. And from here, now I need to get rid of my 2. Therefore, I need to multiply both sides by 2. Thus, these two gets eliminated, and I'm left over with x equals 13 times 2, which is 26. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And as usual, any uh, questions or comments, uh, well, questions, leave them in the comments box, and I'll try and get, get some answers out to you. All right. Thanks for watching.